cure. The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. La like Sponja Grande. Yes, but to find the Sponja Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye, and that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand the rest. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Oh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are come behind, and the ceremony of the two words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. What are these legendary sea creatures? They are a physical representation way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts! I'm sure we can come up with a slightly less grisly approach if we try. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vacalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catcher today come supper! I thought you guys worship wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. I noticed a cool raft down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know? All right. Thanks, Lady Poop. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. Oh, sorry, Lady Poop. Have any of you ever heard of Coronado de Cava? I was told to look for him here in Shoma Locket. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around in Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. If you gave him the summoning items, I swear, I've got every one of you! No one is gutting anyone! We can work this out peacefully! Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? You wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to find you! A crazy homicidal French doctor? An island with winds that kept everybody from leaving. I even faced off against the infamous pirate hunter, Morgan Le Flay, and she, uh, he's just as vicious as people say. Oh, I wish I could have been there for that. So, have you been trying to find me, too? Of course, dear. That's why we came here. Well, that and the monkeys. You said you came here partly for the monkeys. What monkeys? You know what? All those poor monkeys the Chuck had cast a spell over on my ship. Well, we were able to gather them all up, and we're going to make sure they all get back to their proper habitat. Several of them are native to the Jerkbait Islands. Sounds like you spend more time rescuing monkeys than you did looking for me. I can do anything those monkeys can do. I've seen you scratch your behind in the morning. You're very talented. Were you really worried about me? 
I mean, you did stop to chat with these fish people. Guybrush, we came here looking for you. If we had tried to leave, the ugly, diseased pirate over there was going to have us killed. I had to stay. I guess that's all I have to say. Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. My brush. We can't leave. Why? Does someone have a cannon to your head? Blink twice if the answer is yes. These pirates are acting under the influence of the pox. And since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pox, this conflict is really all our fault. We're gonna stick around and clean up this mess. But... I can handle things here, but you've got to get your hands... Uh, sorry. I mean, you've got to get hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. The Gillicutty's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead, and I've got the chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. The chuck? You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe LeChuck, fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate LeChuck, as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. No. Please? Nuh-uh. Pretty please? Nope. Pretty please with marshmallows? Negative. Come on. No way. Oh, me? Yet. I'll be your best friend. Forget it. <laughs> I'll make it worth your while. Not gonna happen. I'm your wife. Ugh. <sighs> Fine. So you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I stall these guys? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each get one summoning item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? Right. You shall never have. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Hello, sailor. Hello, squishy fish person. <laughs> Hello, pudgy human. My name is Tetra. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and... Pudgy? Have you come to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vicalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. And I'm not pudgy. Ever hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh, yes! That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. A bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? How about something historical, ripe with political intrigue? Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A City of Two Tales, an in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I, uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks anyway. What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vicalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? 
Mmm, sure does. Uh, okay. Tell me about Vicalian history. Well, did you know that centuries ago, we merfolk bypassed evolution and used Vicalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope. I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? Maybe some light-hearted fiction. Perfect. Enjoy. The Old Man and the Seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees, in detail, to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, sounds exciting. I think I'll wait for the movie. Can you get me another? Of course. I'll, I'll be right back. I know just the thing. The motion of the ocean. Ooh, sounds racy. An accurate record of the spinner K tide changes over the last 50 years. Oh. You know, why don't you just hold on to this one for me? That's enough book learning for now. I've got piratey things to do. Go get them, swashbuckler. You know, the voodoo lady's locket looks awfully worn around the edges. I wonder if it has another use. Understand you do ship repair here? You! I thought I told you to stay away from this place! Especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium! But I. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, handsome! It's me, Anemone! Oh! <laughs> you got me! How'd you get up here? I swam! So, what did you say you needed? I need my mast repair. Sure thing! You want a patch job or a full mast repair? Well, uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement, but it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mass replacement. I'll be right back. Hmm. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go, all fixed. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? Can I have some bait? Sure. How would you like to pay for it? I'll trade you a pyrite parrot. Sorry, we don't take those. Oh. We also don't accept personal checks, traveler's checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. You don't even take local currency? What do you accept? Coupons. About those coupons? Ah, uh, do you have one? How about if you give me a coupon and uh, I'll take you to lunch? <sighs> what are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's really easy. Just bring me a coupon and I'll give you some bait. Got it? Yep. Hi, um, a numbly? Hello again, sailor. Please stop saying that. What will it be? So you sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, times are tough. Sometimes you gotta pick up an extra job or two just to earn enough sand dollars to live on. That's tough. You think that's bad? <laughs> this place used to be a bait shop and pizza joint, and I still couldn't sell any anchovies. To repair my ship so fast. I'm telling you, mouse replacement is easy. There are a whole slew of trees out there on Spoon Isle Beach just perfect for mouse. Not to mention the fact that they are just sitting by the water's edge where I can easily grab one. I just float one over to your ship, a flip, a flop, and it's done. These trees on Spoon Isle, can anyone just take one? Technically, sure, but they're pretty heavy. I'd suggest leaving it to the experts. I think I'm good. See ya. Don't be a stranger. You shall never have to. Let's forget about 
the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Can we agree to disagree? This is pointless. Hello again. Hey, honey. Can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. So, tell me, when LeChuck handed you that flower on the ship deck, that was, what, some kind of a voodoo trap or something, right? No, that... How did you even know about that? Have you been spying on me? Of course not, but I've been away from you all this time, and I was worried, and I was looking through this spyglass, and... That is so like you. Listen, after the explosion... Which I want to stress was not my fault. After the explosion, it was LeChuck who single-handedly... Oops, sorry. Who recovered your ship and rescued both me and a cargo hold full of innocent monkeys. Whatever you did to that cutlass spell, it seems to have cured him of his many and various voodoo curses completely. He's become a perfectly charming ordinary pirate, just like anyone else. Oh, so now he's charming, is he? Well, not like that. You know, he hasn't even tried to marry me once since then. Huh. I still don't trust LeChuck. No, but you're going to have to if we're going to get all of the summoning artifacts and fix this whole messy pox business. Where am I supposed to find these summoning artifacts again? Go to Spoon Isle. The Chuck is there in the jungle somewhere. He can help you find one. And I hear rumors that there may be some clues to finding another in an abandoned shack on Roe Island. And don't forget, McGillicuddy's men have stolen one. We'll have to find them and get that one as well. I guess that's all I have to say. You all still have a lot to work out. Give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never happen. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will never let them. Looking for a ride? You know, the voodoo lady's locket looks awfully worn around the edges. I wonder if it has another use. Welcome back, sir. Mr. Winslow? Yes, Captain. Well, I met some merfolk. And uh, did you find the lovely mermaid lass you were looking for? I'm not sure. I can't tell the men from the women. <laughs> well, just don't go kissing them all. I found that out the hard way. <laughs> How's the mast holding up? She is looking fantastic, Captain. The repairs are holding well. Embrace her, Captain. Let the screaming narwhal know how much you care. I'm not hugging the mast. Ah, in time, you will come to love her as your second wife. Uh, I don't think Elaine is into that. You'll never know unless you ask. Thank you, Mr. Winslow. Where are we headed? Nowhere yet, sir. As soon as you point out a location on the map, we can set sail. Keep up the good work. Aye, aye, sir. I'm looking for nice a ride. ride. Can I ride it? Hey, no without a pass. Here you go. One official Vakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. Huh? The raft is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Island. Thanks. this place. It's completely uninhabitable. Uh, reminds me of my first apartment. Yep, that's Takaba, all right. This must be his place. Looks as if he hasn't been here in ages. wonder what happened to him. Oh, 
Hmm. It looks blank. Why would anyone hide a blank piece of paper in the mouth of a toy? Okay, Rafty, where should we go next? Look, would you just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here? Nope. Well, McGillicutty gave it to me. I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <laughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Mer leader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. Come on, let me have it. Nope. <coughs> hey guys, what's going on? None of your business. Now why don't you back away? You're sticking up the place. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, you don't smell so... Okay, this is awkward, but you guys smell amazing. Yes, it's the savory smell of thinly sliced potatoes. Fried, crisp, and golden with a touch of honey and a dash of salt. <laughs> How I long to be back in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. Yeah, I long for that too. What are you guys arguing about? Oh, Captain McGillicutty ordered us to hide the summoning artifact we found far away from the Jerkbait Islands. <coughs> Until he was able to secure the rest of them, only he won't give me the artifact back. <coughs> hey, shut your trap! I'm working here! Look, I'm sorry, Merkel, but McGillicutty clearly gave the idol to me. It's my duty, so I want to make sure this gets done right. I want to be the one who decides where to bury it. Sorry, Killick, but if it meant that much to you, you shouldn't have left it sitting out in the open while you took a nap. And by out in the open, you mean placed in a small box, wrapped in wool and stuffed down my pants? Well, if you didn't want pirates rummaging through your trousers while you were sleeping, you should have said so. I've got it now. I'll decide where to bury it. Distraction! Oh, what's it distracting? Yeah! Hey, what are you doing? Trying to loot our treasure chest? Of course not. It's hard to loot a chest full of nothing. You just keep your hands off my chest. Not a problem. In There's nothing there! Sorry, it was... Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, Maybe there's a fair way to determine who gets to bury the artifact. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah? Well, what do you suggest? Try guessing a number. Whoever answers right gets to bury it. That sounds reasonable. I'll start. Pick what number I'm thinking of. Mmm, 27. Nope. Okay, now you pick a number. 42. Wrong. Wait a minute. How do I know you ain't lying? Me? What about you? Okay, this ain't gonna work. Forget it. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? How about a staring contest? First one to blink loses. Hey, I like that idea. Yeah, it's so simple. You look like your eyes are going to dry out. Maybe you should stop. Yeah, yeah, maybe we should. 
Not that I was going to blink or anything. Right, it's just, you know, medically unsafe. Probably. How about a breath-holding contest? First one to breathe for air loses. I like where you're going with that, but no. With me asthma, it wouldn't be a fair contest. Well, then I win by default. No, because I still got the seahorse. That makes you a loser by default. Can I have that seahorse? You mean this seahorse that Captain McGillicutty gave us to hide until all the artifacts are found? Of course. In fact, why don't we just give you the treasure and then rip off our own arms so our captain don't have to? Beat it! Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? I think that staring contest was working. You should try again. Yeah, good idea. Would you please tell that lady behind you to button up her blouse? Where? Where? Bon voyage. Did you say something? Not me. Maybe it was Captain McGillicuddy. Neptune's beard! If he sees we haven't buried this chest yet, he might just bury us instead! Come on, come on, we've got to go now! Yeah, that might be a good idea. It's me, Garbor Streetboy, Mighty Pirate. Well, that's that. Done <coughs> and buried! <coughs> To have you back. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. Onward to Brillig Island. Aye, aye, sir. Wow. I didn't think tiny islands like this actually existed. Good thing I'm not stuck here. I haven't finished my top five things to have while stranded on the deserted island list. It's me, Garbo Freeport, Mighty Pirate. If I were a buried parrot, where would I be? Even as small as these islands are, I wouldn't want to just dig randomly in the hopes of finding buried treasure. I'd be island hopping for years. It's me, Garbo Freeport, Mighty Pirate. Aha, there you are, little parrot. I'll have you dug up in a second. It's me, Garbo Freeport. Creepy. It sounds like I've been buried alive. Again. And I think once is enough for a lifetime. Take that, Poxy Pirates. Never underestimate the treasure finding skills of Guybrush Street. Ah, it's me, Guybrush Street Boy. Mighty Pirate. Oh, shut up already. My petite murderess, where is the puny pirate and his superbly sickly hat? Right here. Oh, and what a glorious battle it was! Guybrush was amazing!